Welcome everybody to KPE Paranormal. Today we are here at Easter Cemetery. This bench is really hot. <laughs> so the cemetery dates back around 1700 to 1800s and it is known to be really really haunted. Now I tried to go here at night one year ago and it was locked. We're going to try sometime next time to go at night and try again to see if it will be locked or unlocked to investigate it at night. There are rumors here that people hear screams, disembodied voices, and other paranormal evidence. Ooh, the bench is really hot. It's definitely a gorgeous cemetery. It's getting taken care of with maintenance right now. That bench is hot. Mm. Wow. I was going to continue on sitting on this bench to do the intro, but it's so hot on that bench because the sun's beaming down on the bench. Oh man. <laughs> well, we're going to get started on this exploration. Let me know what you all hear or see in this video. Make sure to smash the like button and y'all come with. Let's do this. So, this cemetery here, where we're at, dates back in the 1700s, 1800s, and they are taking care of it. With all the rain we had, Grass definitely got taller. The cemetery is known to be haunted. Look at this crypt. I think it's called a crypt. It's a very beautiful design. There is a mausoleum straight back down that way. If you can see, you pass through those trees, but they got it blocked off. But this here is the crypt. I think it's mainly for storage. Yeah. Not sure how well you all can see that. There we go. How to let the camera focus. Focus, focus. So I'll let you all see in there. Focus. Not wanting to focus. But you see some storage stuff in there. Maybe if I back up some it should focus better. That's the majority of what I could show y'all. That's like a crypt. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's a crypt. Let me know down in the comments of what you all feel of the cemetery. The cemetery used to be open at night. However, I believe they have it closed off at night now because I try to go to it at night I would say a year and a half ago 
and they got it closed, you know, like locked up. But you see graves like this one, 1881 to 1899. So, they're definitely very old graves. 1700s, 1800s time, you know. We got this wind chime right there. Very beautiful. I'm going to take a picture of this. We got this tombstone right here, As you see, at night, <laughs> I can already tell you that totally different vibe, totally different feeling, and I'm pretty sure you all can say the same thing. I've been here at night, it's creepy. Trying to find the path that we were on earlier. You may be able to get lost here if you don't know where you're going very easily. I thought I seen a apparition or something like right back down there by the tree. Like a female. I swore. <laughs> but as you see, they are cleaning up this cemetery. I see movement up there behind the bush. Yep. Very pretty how they got this set up right here. with a tree by it. Very gorgeous. But the one that I seen behind the bush or the tree was the person jogging.
It's a very, 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 very cool, unique cemetery. And if you noticed anything, um, they have graves like facing one direction, but I don't know facing the other direction. From what I remembered, the reason for that, if I'm right, um, is for those who might be going to either heaven or hell for their destination. That's why their graves are facing one direction, the other one the other direction. If I remember that correctly, if what I remembered from the time I heard it from somebody. But let me know what your opinion is about those directional placement of the tombstones. It's very interesting to let me know what your thoughts about it is. Down in the comment section below, I'd love to hear it. But right over here, this area, it's just very active. I think over here is like the most active, active part of the cemetery. Where is it being is, each time I step foot in the area, my side starts to hurt. And I try to go live on YouTube, right? And it keeps freezing in that area. And I got four, five bars, 5G, you know? So there is no need. And there's a cell tower right there. You see the cell tower right down there? So there's no need for it to freeze, you know? So, it's like every time in this area when I try to go live, it freezes. And of course, like I was saying earlier, side of my back starts hurting in this area. I want to show you where. Alright, so like right here, this is where it starts hurting when I get to this area. That's part of my gift where I feel the people's pain before they're passing and how they passed away, you know? That they have enough energy for letting me to present themselves from them to me, you know, if that makes sense. See, like as soon as we get closer to the mausoleum, I'm hearing the voices. I'm pretty sure you hear them too. But obviously, there's a band over there, as you all hear. But I talked about the disembodied voices that's around the cemetery. But it's just. Very, very active here. Show you all the back of the mausoleum. So yeah, they got this mausoleum here, closed off, as you all see. Um, I haven't been to this section yet. I think that's a furnace, something right there. Um, see what this is right here yeah see they got it all blocked off try to over talk the music there's a band going on over there but you see they got it all blocked off
I love this cemetery. I'm glad I was able to make it today to show you all. Hopefully you all like it too. Um, I'm going to try one night to see if they're still open to be investigated at night. Would it be cool if it is? We're just going to have to find out. You know, next time. Alrighty, everyone. This will wrap up this exploration of the cemetery here at Eastern Cemetery. It's definitely a haunted cemetery. It dated back back in 1700s, 1800s time. It's a very cool, unique cemetery. Let me know what you all think. Make sure to leave a like, share this video, subscribe to the channel. Comment down below, down in the comment section. So let me know about your thoughts about the cemetery. Until next time, KPE Paranormal. Love and peace.